through our shopping journey <laughs> one of those days anyway we met a nice couple who live in America at the moment they're over here well, I say live in America at the moment they're actually over here in the Philippines now maybe permanently maybe not but we're gonna meet up with them tomorrow we met them in Robson's place last week they very kindly swapped us home which is very nice of them and tomorrow we're gonna treat them for a bit of a lunch here at the house our way of saying thank you we're just very grateful that people are so nice to Filipinos, foreigners, expats, everyone we meet, really nice. So Jane's outside doing a bit of gardening. She's starting to landscape this front bit now. She's here with Cookie protecting her. Cookie's watching out. Come on Cookie, don't go too far. Pumpkin, that's it. Oh, these, this one's here's a pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, what's the other one? It's a real banana. Go banana, that's what I planted. <laughs> yeah, There's a pumpkin yeah, and a gaibano. I planted the gaibano here. It's still doing okay. When we built the house, we left a little bit at the front, spare. We didn't put the wall right up onto the boundary line. So we do have about a meter and a half, two meters in the front here. It's quite handy, isn't it? To keep a little bit for landscaping. There's Creamy Boy in now, he's waiting for his turn to go out. Still taking turns, he's in the front and Cookie's in the back. And this gate, yes, we need to do a bit of maintenance. TLC, it's not used very often, but we'll start using it a lot more now. Stay there, boys. Good boy. Jane's struggling with that umbrella and some tissues. This is the reality of the Philippines. <laughs> An umbrella to protect from the sun. Magadano Maga, come up to my friends. We're off to Toyota again today. Just look at a different car. Also, a bit more shopping. Here, you toy to warm up. Jane looks very, very posh. You look very posh, and I look very common. Oh dear. <laughs> What's that word? What's those dogs? Beauty and the Beast? Lady in the Scam. Lady in the Scam? Scam? Lady in the Tramp? They do vary the prices all depending on where they are in the country sometimes. But Toyota tend to be the most, most fairest. Jane will be the one to buy the car if we do buy a new car. We're going to make a decision on what happens with our car once we know full details, but even then, Jane's still been looking for a car for quite some time. Really wants to start to learn to drive, and this might be might be something to suit her. Okay. Yeah, this is high up. Okay. This is this is much. This is quite high up. It's a much higher driving position, so you feel a bit more. More high up, even though more, it's yeah, that you can adjust even though it's well. not a really big car, it's quite a small car, but mm -hmm. still. It feels like a big car. Right. Have a look inside. What do you think? 
It's bigger inside. Yeah, it's bigger inside. And then you look in the... This is the lower end. That's, yeah. Hello. One million ninety-two thousand. Ah, okay. Um, yes, ma'am. This is the third. It's the seven C. Seven C. So that's, the, that's the advantage of this one. Is it's, uh, it is seven C if you need those extra seats. Okay, you can also fold all of it. You want to say to sleep in the back. Sleep in the back. <laughs> it's too big for you or? It's too big for me. It's impossible. I, I can't drive this big. No. How does it feel? Is it still good? <laughs> it's good. Still. I'll sit in as well to see how high up it is. And so, um, that's not bad actually. Not too bad. It's actually quite good because it's quite um, compact. Yeah, it is compact. So easier, easier, easy to drive if you wanted to like mm -hmm. have something a bit smaller, a bit easier to park and manoeuvre. Okay. No trikes here. We're going to be waiting again. Hopefully not too long. Beautiful view, beautiful day so far. Bit of a breeze, nice. Keeps it a bit cooler. Good, but it's a bit like buses in England, you wait for a long time and then we come at once. The trikes are probably just waiting, aren't they, in uh, Terminal in Ormoc, and they don't come up until they have enough passengers, but they might be there for a couple of hours waiting. There's the fish man. There's the fish man. Uh, maybe. Here comes one, maybe. My legs, my neck. Really, really painful. I was a squeeze. <laughs> We're here to look at a different car today. We looked at the Yaris cross the other day. Today is the Rays. Made me make a decision today. Jane, Jane's very keen. <laughs> Waiting for two hours. Don't Let's exaggerate, one hour. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like two hours, like there's no queue, you have to just like, people are just like buds in and we're supposed to be the first one waiting and we end up last because we don't want to buds in. Yeah, it's um, the truck's good, it's a good public service here, very good, but there's no schedule, there's no communication between the drivers, so they could all be waiting for passengers and then there's a big queue at the other end. Uh, it's a little bit unorganised, but drivers are always very friendly, polite. The people on the trikes are amazing, great people, always have fun, but yeah, it can be difficult. There's a workshop in the back. That's good there's a workshop in the back, isn't there? Yeah. Proper workshop. <laughs> oh, there we are. So we uh, raise a nice looking car. White and black. Uh, 
ako, auto retract na po ng inyong um, uh, power windows. Mm -hmm. uh, Toyota Ray is only to a very popular car here in the Philippines. It's very economical, it's a really good size, it's a cross, it's a sub mini, sub SUV I should say, but it's a beautiful car. <laughs> <laughs> you look good in the car. It's high up, yeah, it is high up. It's a it's an SUV. It's like you remember we saw the Eco Sport a couple of years ago. It's like the Eco Sport, but it's much more refined. Aircon is very strong, yeah. Oh wow. It's quite a, quite a lot of room in the back. Yeah. Surprisingly big room in the back. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. Storage is good. Yeah, was still yeah you still get, get still get off. still get two big cases. Those are fold flat, almost flat anyway. But again, yeah, if you want to pick up some bit of furniture or something, it, you get something in there. It's a full tire. Wow. Full size with this alloy as well. That's really good. Very rare you get that. It's a really, really nice looking car this. One litre turbo. Very efficient, very, very, very efficient on fuel. It's got the added power in the turbo when you need it, but just for city use, which we have at the moment, taking Isabella and Julian to school, a few trips here and there. Then I can see why this is so popular. Next to it is the Yaris Cross. They're very similar in size. So I need to get across here. It's getting towards lunchtime. Buy something to eat here in Ormoc. Be careful, okay? That's the yellow one. There's a green one, after the green one. There's a red one, after the red one, there's a blue one. After the blue one, there's a car. No, it's like multicolored. All the colors you can think of trikes. But it's nice to be out walking around Ormoc City. We don't do this too often as we have quite a rich, rich mated routine. No time for the garden this week, unfortunately. This is what happens. We don't normally vlog when we do things like this. But quite often we get out to things like this, we incorporate this more into our daily vlog. What do you guys think? Drop us a comment if you let's see us out and about a bit more in Ormoc. Calendaria. Oh uh, yeah. You want rice, yeah or no? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sige. How's your food? Masala. How are you, Masala? She's gone in to buy some fish, some isda, some tuna, if she can find some. What a cool box with us, a cool bag. It's one of the things that can be difficult without a car because the fish will go off really badly, really quickly here. If you haven't got ice, if you're quick, have a bike or something, you can get home quite quick. It's okay, you can store it, but in the blazing sun, it's difficult here. The last couple of days have really opened our eyes up about how we can get around without a car, without transport. And it is possible, it's difficult, but it's rewarding in some ways as well. On occasion, you have a bit of a delay waiting for the trike from where we are, but we're quite out of the city. If you live near the city or anywhere near a city, plenty. But it all started with the car going wrong. We have to wait to get a quote and see what we want to do. 